Okay, so we're going to tie another muddler, this time uh, a Viva muddler. And the inspiration for this was finding this kid's toy ball thing that seems to be covered in like a neon, I suppose the equivalent of glow bright kind of stuff. I'll use that for the tail. So I have this is a size 8 B175. Uh, but I suppose you can tie it in whatever size you want. So, take our thread down to the the bend. And then I'm going to take a bit of this floss stuff here. that on down to the rear and then we're going to cut that to make our tail. So Viva's black and silver so we'll take a bit of uh, silver oval as our rib. And then I'm going to use a black dubbin. Now I'm going to use a sort of a synthetic black dubbin but I say use anything at all. From seals fur to chenille, whatever, whatever you want. Catch a couple of fibers will help you twist it tighter. And leave a bit of room for our muddler head to go on. I just want to uh, rib this, or sorry, hammer this with a black hackle. So, I have here a black saddle hackle. Two or three turns at the front to create like a collar and then take that back in as many turns as you feel like to make as dense or bushy a fly as you want. That was three turns but I said you'd go four or five turns and then take the silver rib up through that and tie it off. that off and then I'm just going to stroke this back. So, uh, depends what type of fly you're going for here but I think here I'm going to tie something a little bit sort of lock style. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, a golden pheasant tackle that has been dyed black just to give me that longer sort of octopusy kind of style to it. Double it as we're going. And then we'll have enough of it on. We'll tie that off. And trim it. As you can see, we now have that sort of longer cloak. her head on this here. So I'm going to take a bunch of black 
dear her. I'm going to use the tips of this as like a fake hackle, so I'm just going to set that on. It's not going to be the as long as our as our black uh, pheasant feather, maybe sort of half of that. So I'll catch it so that the bunch is all the way around the shank of the hook, then put on a couple of wraps, but I don't want to take them in just yet. And then cut that off. level with the eye and then when we pull that down to tighten it it'll spin get our thread whipped off just behind the eye so that it settles into the tear hair a little bit and then just by stroking that back it'll take it away from the eye and create the head for us. And just make sure that the eye itself is, is clear. And there we have a, a Viva muddler.